hello guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i will be explaining you how to fill this 2023 global korea scholarship application form so please watch this video carefully one by one i mean all the steps where i'll be explaining all these documents and how to fill it and what to fill it and if you have any questions you can always come to my instagram and ask me questions follow me there please and so yeah without wasting any time let's start so this is the first document uh when you download your i mean your guidelines and everything i've already made a video on guidelines which you can check that is right here and then after that you download the guidelines you start filling the form so this is the first document that is a checklist so this we will see at the last okay let's go ahead and go to form one now this is one of the important form because here you have to fill all your details about the scholarship i mean about yourself and this is a, one of the most important forms so let's watch this how to fill it okay now the first thing you have to fill is like which track you are applying for let's say if you're applying for university track so you click university and if you are not able to do these check marks in your computer or in your smartphone you can leave this and once you print out your form you can print it but but try to fill all the form using computer try to fill it everything and uh, whatever you are not able to fill on the computer you print it out and then you tick mark so university track and let's say if your university is from one of the regional university so you can select regional okay moving ahead let's say if you're applying for masters you tick here then moving ahead you can select the department now division desired field of study you can refer to university information file which i told you in the last video about guidelines so you can check that excel sheet which department does your major belongs to and you can click it like let's say if you're applying for engineering you if you're applying for maybe mechanical engineering you can click engineering okay this is some simple to understand now moving ahead so here you have to fill your name so the first name is for your family name as per your passport so this this should be matching with your passport so everything you should fill it for let's say for for example for me in my case it will be k u m a r i don't have any middle name so i'll leave it blank and i can write my first name if you have your middle name you can write it here but if you don't leave it blank okay then you have to paste your photo so once you print out this form then you paste it okay you don't have to paste it in computer and take it print so after after uh, taking the print out you can paste it uh, with a glue or something then you have to write your date of birth in this format and then you have to click male or female whatever and country of citizenship so you can write maybe india and then of course not and then this one that is the applicant's parents of course if they are not also from korea click no so then moving ahead if you are current or previous gk scholar so no and then contact information so this is like your current contact information so many people ask like uh you have like you have some old address which is changed right now so it's okay all you have to do is that write your current address so i will write current address okay and you should give some document at least I, I i mean some of the documents should mention this kind of address it's not like you should give give some random address maybe try to match it with your passport but if it's not possible then also it's okay then write your phone number so if it's starting from india number so plus nine one and whatever your number is then your email id email id is the most important okay most important very 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 important so i'm marking it like three stars it means it is very important so you have to fill it very carefully okay moving ahead now this uh, the fifth column is about choice of university so if you are applying for university track which we clicked on the first option so here also we take the first option we select the university so from type a or type b whatever university then these information you can again check the university information file and fill it here and if you are applying from embassy track then you have to choose one type b university in this and then type a or type b university so if you see the difference here in previous years you have to fill type a here type a here and type b here but in this they have put type b as a top choice so you have to take care of this particular thing and then again the similar like this now moving ahead language abilities so if you have some topic level you can click it and if you don't have it it's okay you can click ielts if you have and then write ielts score which i am writing mind score 
moving ahead and this is the high school so if you are like applying for masters phd or whatever you are applying you have to fill your high school details so you have to fill like high school name country so for example india and just like year of graduation so let's say if you graduate in 15 16 or 20 or whatever you fill this particular uh, year of graduation no need to fill your marks and uh, everything okay moving ahead now this is bachelor's degree so this is very very important section so please uh, watch it carefully university name so many people ask like they are from a college and their university is i mean their college is affiliated to some university so what you can do here is like you can write your college name okay and then comma university name okay so you have to write both of them and if it's just a university then you write this university and then you write the country you write the major you write the graduation degree awarded date so this will be on the as if certificate of your i mean diploma so let's say if you are like uh, you know if you graduated last year in the month of march or april so you write like date like 2022 april whatever the date is mentioned date of issue of that certificate now thesis if you have research papers if you have published moving ahead similarly in case of master's degree if you're applying for doctoral program you have to write your master's also master's details also now moving ahead if you are applying for postdoc or research categories so you have to write your doctor degree also so it's pretty simple now this is one of the most important i mean all of them are important but this is like many people have confusion okay so this is cgpa what cgpa means is like it's the commun i mean it's like it's cumulative you know cumulative it means average so you have to take average of all the gps you scored in each semester so let's say if you score something like uh, on maybe on 10 scale okay you have your 10 scale in india so let's say if you score 8 8.5 7 7.5 so you just add all of them add s1 plus s2 plus s3 whatever and divide by the total number of semesters so let's say if there are eight semesters so you divide by eight so this this should be like s1 plus s2 plus s3 till s8 and then divide by eight so if you have six semesters then s1 plus s2 plus s3 by s6 and divide by six so this is how you have to uh, you know take out your cgpa and it it is i mean it is usually at the final mark sheet or in transcript it will be written at the end of uh, your you know transcript and you have to highlight it okay highlight the trans uh, highlight the cgpa on your transcript also so when you submit your transcript so see where the cgpa is written and you try to highlight it like this uh, with a marker or something and then if the you know transcript does not indicate the grading scale submit a supplementary document describing the university grading system so let's say if you have like 10 scale right so 10 scale usually is not acceptable by gks i mean in the application form in the guidelines but if you have no option you can write your 10 scale and you can submit a document explaining how the 10 scale system works so in my case what i did is that i write my 10 scale marks so in this column i write my actual grades that were 8.89 out of 10 so i write like this okay so you can also write like this now if you are converting your grades let's say if you are converting your grades because you don't have enough grades in your 10 scale or percentage so you can use cholero to convert and if the university have confirmed it okay if the university have approved it then you can write that converted uh, grades here so let's say if you have if you are writing your grades like on four scale so let's say if you can write 3.2 out of four whatever the grade is actually so you can write the converted here and the actual one here and then you have to check appendix okay if you are converting only if you are converting your grades then you can check appendix of the guidelines and then as per 3.2 you can write the particular percentage they have but if you are not converting okay if you're not doing this then you write your percentage as per the university let's say in my case it is like let's say multiply by 10 so i will just directly write 88.9 uh, i mean by 100 so this this is like my actual percentage but if you are converting it though you can refer to appendix okay and then you can write your 
uh, score percentile. But if you're not converting it, again, again, I'm saying that if you're not converting it, write percentage by your university and it should be more than 80% to be eligible to apply for this scholarship. And if it's not, then if you are converting, getting approved, then you write the percentile as per your appendix. Simple. Now, this is the most important section, but now here is like the easy one here you have to write like semester wise marks so let's say for first year third year second year whatever you write semester one so if your uh, scale is on 10 scale you can write like 8 gpa by 10 8.5 by 10 like this and if you are converting it then you can write uh, it's like three if you are converting semester by semester then you can write three by four 3.2 by four whatever so this is like you have to do and that's all so this this particular column is the most important one in this form one moving ahead again this you can see and you, you can fill if you have any scholarships or something then if you, you can also check this this is i mean simple moving ahead so here you have to write the date of the filling of application form you can write a full name full name as per the passport and here you have to sign so let's say you can sign your okay so like this you can fill this form one moving ahead to form two now form two is like personal statement i have already made a video on personal statement i would recommend you to please check it out i have also shared my personal statement so you can check this video to fill it this personal statement i would not be uh, i mean spending so much time on this personal statement so please and watch please go and watch those videos hello guys this small announcement is especially for my indian audience I know that I have been making a lot of videos on GKS and other scholarships and I think I am explaining it as much as easy as possible to help you understand it. But even if there, there is some problem, maybe you are not able to understand, maybe you want to ask more questions or maybe you want to take some suggestions from me, you can do that now. So all you have to do is that go to my channel, click on community and I recently I have posted this new post where you can see that I have been doing i mean i mean i have planned to do a one-to-one -one meeting with you and all you can do is that you can go to this google form and once you go to this google form you can book a meeting with me and this is just i mean this is just my you know way to help you and try to help you as much as possible so you can see you can just fill this form and uh, if you have any questions if you if you want me to read your personal statements study plan whatever you have your questions let's do that on the meeting and once we do the meeting i will read that for you i will read your personal statement on the meeting i'll read your study plan whatever you will say i'll do that for that 30 minutes or one hour whatever the book and then i think i'll try my best to explain uh, all your doubts so this is what i had to say in between now i think you can go there and check it out and uh, let's go back to the video again the study plan so i have already said many many times that in study plan you have to first explain the language study plan which you will be doing for one year then you have to explain the your major your you know your main degree which you will be doing like let's say for masters so you have to explain your subjects which you will be taking what research you are planning to do and then after graduating you can whatever you're planning to do and i mean you can write these things so now this the now, now the i mean the uh, the number of pages now it's three pages so you can explain very well you can try to I mean go on Google you can find some samples how to write a study plan very detailed study plan and try to write it more research oriented moving ahead I will, I will show you this personal statement also so here also it's three pages now so you can just write a story and, and you can write many, many 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 things because they have increased the page limit now this is research proposal so if you are applying for research program then only you have to fill it if you are not then you simply skip this form again this recommendation letter form 5 i have already made a video on recommendation letter which you can check and this is like form 5 so this is kind of a new kind of format which people are like uh, seeing this year this is, this is a new format but even if you have a uh, already taken a rec uh, recommendation letter in old format it's completely okay you don't have to worry about that so you have to first give it to your recommender you have to write your name first and master's degree and major you are applying for and then 
you can just give it to your recommender and he will write these things about yourself like these particular things and then he will uh, he, he or she will like write his name and everything and uh, he can type his recommendations here in a in a paragraph way and then he can at the end he can just sign here and write the date and you have to put all of them in you have you have to put a, all the letters i mean if you are applying for university track then just one copy and just you have to put this in the envelope and you have to take the sign on the flap i've already made a video on lor so you can check that out now moving ahead to the letter of invitation again this is for research applicants so if you are not applying for this you can skip this Now these, these are some agreement which you can read it and which you can just tick mark whatever the things are you have to tick mark all of them and it's a simple thing and at the end you have to write your name signature and that's it. Then the medical assessment so again you have to if you have any problems so you can uh, click yes or whatever so this is generally self explanatory and uh, you, you can do it by yourself so there is nothing to explain here now moving ahead this is form 9 and again you can read it and agree disagree whatever that thing is and you can just you know put agree agree and then you have to write signature name so every every form has this name signature so you have to uh, you know sign carefully and uh, do fill this form everything so this is this was it i mean this this was it so to be honest i would say that form 9 form 8 form 7 and yeah form seven eight nine they are useless form you can fill it in just one day i mean just five minutes or ten minutes now form five is something which you have to spend your time and get a letter of recommendation from your professor now form three is the important one because this is a study plan so you have to explain very well and if you want my suggestions on study plans so you can book a meeting with me and then i will explain all of them so yeah this is like it's about again it's personal statement i have already shared my personal statement on the video uh, on my channel so you can see my personal statement you can write your personal statement in such a way and you have to explain it very well now moving ahead this is form one which is very important and i already explained how to write this particular marks so if you don't understand please watch this part again and again and you will understand it and even if you don't understand then i told you already that you can book a meeting with me moving ahead moving ahead so these are the informations which you can fill and finally finally when you fill all the forms you move to the application checklist and now we will fill this application checklist so since we are applying for university track or if you are applying for embassy track you can select this one and write the name of institution receiving application so let's say if you are applying for university track okay you can write the name of the university but if if it's embassy track it's better to leave it blank or you can just uh, write the uh, you know republic of korea south korea in india something like that like name of the embassy and then full name as per the passport citizenship india and moving ahead we can write now now now, now many people are asking like they're not able to check mark this so it's okay you can check mark after printing it out so you can check mark here then you can check mark check mark check mark okay so 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 i mean i mean if you are submitting this form let's say if you are not submitting this form you can put a cross and you can just check mark okay if you're not submitting put a cross if you are not applying for research program you don't have to submit these things so you put a cross there okay it's very simple and you check mark everything and then moving ahead these documents as i told you again and again you have to apostyle these documents so after you uh, after you apostyle this you have to again check mark and then you know fill fill these forms accordingly so this is very simple to fill this form and you have to arrange your documents in order of this particular number so first you have to keep application form then personal statement then this like one one two three like this so number is already given so you have to arrange your documents in that way itself so this is i mean this is all i mean this is all about this filling the application form and i hope my video will i mean will help you and still if you are having problems so i already told you that you can get a one on one booking with me and then i'll try to explain in uh, you know all your doubts whatever you have
anyways uh, even if you are okay you can watch my videos i think my videos will help you a lot and uh, you can follow me on instagram ask me any questions if you have and take care all the best